Um, Charleston, why you mush mouth cock ass? Ain't nobody scared of no gay bashing. It's been gay bashing since I was in high school, and I've been whooped high school. That's a sh first of all, I addressed academics because he did an interview with Vlad TV, and they both was. Well, we already know this. There's been an ongoing battle between Saucy Santana and DJ Academics. We all seen DJ Academics uh, respond to Saucy Santana. It all started when Academics went after the City Girls. And he talked about the Latin Lester album sales. Um, he went after them about, you know, talked about being peed on and just a whole bunch of uh, debauchery that uh, those young women was uh, talked about indulging in. So, uh, so uh, that dude Santana, the LGBT guy, I don't want to try to call no grown man saucy, but the, gro um, the guy Santana, he, he chimed in and, and, you know, all hell broke loose. So he chimed in and responded um, to DJ Academics and prompted DJ Academics to respond. And next thing you know, they must have gotten DJ Academics aired. And he was back on uh, tearing up and crying. So now Charleston White has jumped into the fray. And let's listen to what Charleston White had to say about the situation. And then we'll come right back. This is where we supposed to come in as straight men and go to gay bashing. We supposed to join together as straight men with DJ Academics and bash the shit out that punk. Get your gay ass somewhere, motherfucker. Cause I know a nigga, I, I know, I know some nigga uh, a whoop you and fuck you, punk. <laughs> Man, I know nigga been down that road. I'm telling you. Or uh, shake, shake, or uh, shake that tree and see where to fall from it. <laughs> and next thing you know, they going together after that good ass whooping. But say, uh, listen, DJ Academics is a blogger. He got a right to have an opinion about this has been his career. He got a right to have an opinion, my nigga, to say, hey, uh, the city girl. Boy, y'all only sold 10,000 units this week. I think it's over with. Hey. Uh, bitch, it's over with for y'all. <laughs> man, they got sexy red now. Hey, man. And she done got pregnant. Pre they got, they got sex Chris tape and pregnant. Man, they got Christian Rock with a retarded baby that she making video with. Uh, who else? Nigga, they got Glorilla. Man, you, you city girl hoes, y'all time was up. Y'all had y'all little run. It was fun. Now y'all getting peed on. Enjoy it. But Man. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he ain't said nothing wrong. So tell that punk pipe down and get him some pipe. But leave that boy alone. Boy ain't done nothing wrong. God damn. Boy ain't done nothing wrong. He's a blogger. And how you go get him mad over motherfucker's opinion? And the opinion's not about you. And see, the reason why Charleston White was responding that way because in the conversation when Mr. Santana was going off on DJ Academics. He told DJ Academics that he was going that he was going to beat him up, knock him out, and clap his cheeks. And I, I and I heard it. I said, "Whoa!" I almost threw up in my mouth. I said, "What? Whoa!" Like, are you advocating rape? Because if if DJ Academics would have said something like that, that that could be considered a hate crime. But because you're LGBT and you're having a, a, a argument back with another straight man, it's okay for you to say that. This is crazy. So if you don't believe, if you don't believe me, let's check out what uh, Mr. Santana and his response had to say to uh, Charleston White, and we'll come right back. Um, Charleston White, you mush mouth cock eyed bitch. Ain't nobody scared of no motherfucking gay bashing. Niggas been gay bashing since I was in motherfucking high school, and I've been whooping ass since motherfucking high school. That's a motherfucking fact. Fuck nigga, keep my motherfucking name out your mouth, bitch. First of all, I addressed academics because he did an interview with Vlad TV, and they both was speaking on me. And he done spoke on me motherfucking before. Stay off the internet reading the motherfucking blogs and do your motherfucking research. So I addressed him off of me first. Then I'm going to you by my motherfucking sister. Because you as a motherfucking nigga, if you feel like a girl is a hoe or a housewife, if a bitch come for your sister, your mama, your niece, your anything, another motherfucking grown-ass motherfucking man, bitch-ass nigga, you need to stand the fuck up and say something to that motherfucking nigga. We don't give a fuck about no...
That's the problem with y'all old heads, old sassy ass, country ass, trick ass nigga. That's the problem with y'all old ass niggas. You ignorant as fuck. Because I don't give a fuck what no Carisha rap about. None of that shit. She a motherfucking woman first before she a bitch, a hoe, or any, uh, how, uh, any the way you fuck you feel about none of them motherfucking girls. That's what the fuck it is. And about motherfucking minds, bitch, you could get like that. That's what the fuck I'm telling you. So I'm just, you ain't even, you ain't, you, if you want to team up with motherfucking academics, bitch, put your boots on. It's never nothing. It's never motherfucking nothing. Bitch, if you feel like all y'all niggas need to squad the fuck up and, 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 and sign in, step in with DJ Academics, he need the motherfucking help. So, bitch, do motherfucking you. But all that punk faggot shit, bitch, you giving me more punk faggot than anything doing motherfucking interviews, snapping your motherfucking fingers, speaking on motherfucking bitches, all trick ass, country ass nigga, country grandma ass nigga. Fuck wrong with you, mush mouth. You sound like you got dick in your mouth when you motherfucking talk, bitch. Fuck you, come out. People could be bloggers. That's fine. Report, report, report on anything you want. Report on whatever. That's that's fine. But you know what most of these blog pages have? These professional blog pages have, and, and, and what keep them out of shit? They have a team of people reporting, and they not putting a face on it. You a grown ass motherfucking man speaking hostile and picking on girls, bullying bitches. That's the difference. The neighborhood talk, the shade room, it's on site. Hollywood Unlocked, all these blogs have a team of people that log in and run shifts and report. It's not a face to the motherfucking case. Even if we know who run the blog, we don't know who posted it. This is a motherfucking nigga that be on the internet speaking ill and picking on bitches. That's not cool. Be a blog and report. But when you start being disrespectful and when you start picking on bitches and laughing at, and, and laughing at life-threatening situations, bitch, you out of line. And since you want to be a motherfucking bully, Bitch, you're going to get bullied for it. In closing, in today's time, it for honestly, I'm not engaging in no arguments with with those with with, with uh those people. I'm not I'm not, I'm just I'm not doing it. Like it just don't make sense to me. But I don't um I I believe DJ Academics, he says a lot of salacious stuff. This is the internet. This is YouTube. Uh, Charleston White says certain things just to stay in the algorithm. And that Santana uh, man, he's very flamboyant. And he does things to be seen too. Um, none of this stuff was his business. He chose to get into the conversation when nobody was talking to uh, Mr. Santana. Nobody was talking to him. He, that was He made a decision to get in something that had absolutely nothing to do with him. And he threatened bodily harm. He talked about all kinds of stuff. And that prompted DJ Academics to call him a botty boy and uh, <laughs> and start going back and forth with him. So both of them was out of line. But I figured if he wouldn't have never, he would have never been, he would have never had to say that he was going to knock Academics out and screw him in his in, in his in his rectum. Had he would had he would have not injected himself into the conversation in the first place. And he's talking about he's been fighting boys since he was young and just so, you know, all, all this foolishness. I haven't heard really anything from the city girls. You know, so Charleston White got into it when he heard um, Charleston White, Umar Johnson. Everybody is speaking about the part that he said he was going to knock this guy out and rape him and grape him. I haven't heard anything from the LGBTQ community. They haven't uh, denounced that or spoke out against that. I guess it's all right when a gay man can say that he was going to grape a straight man. That's okay, I guess. But because silence silence is agreeance. I haven't heard anything. But I'm going to cut this video short here as more of this come out. I'll talk about it. But this internet is undefeated this internet stuff is crazy you know people do a lot of stuff for um attention but leave your comments in the comment section let me know what you think subscribe to street media tv and remember i love y'all to the next time peace